The nominees for Artist Action for Sustainable Development are Sustainable House Foundation Legal Assistance Center Wakapinya Environmental Education My name is Archie Shihono, Lawrence Archie Shihono. Um, I'm the co-founder of uh, Sustainable House Foundation. Um, Sustainable House Foundation was uh, developed for certain reasons. Uh, we want to focus on all the 17 goals of uh, sustainability goals of uh, UNTP. We want to implement all of them and make sure that we produce uh, uh, products and food that, that is, uh, will be utilized by the community and all that to fight uh, poverty, health, and um, eradicate uh, hunger, uh, protect the environment, make sure we do sustainable farming, we do sustainable uh, soil protection, we do bees, we do everything. Actually, we are trying to do all the 17 goals of sustainable development. In our case, I have entered two comics we created, and the comics deal with sustainable development. The Environmental Management Act is a tool to make decisions coming to conclusions for the state what is sustainable development, and, and the state has to look at the social, economic, and environmental sustainability of any project or development. And when it basically comes to a decision-making process by government to say that a certain development activity is sustainable development. And those, th those two comics deal with the legal aspects of, of, of that and also how communities can contribute and benefit from sustainable management of our natural resources. So this is understood and needs to be known by schools, but not only by schools. Wakabinya was established to address the need for innovative and creative environmental education in this digital world, meaning we needed to come up with something that will be easily be understood by youth, young people, as well as down to earth to the communities. So we have planted close to almost 800 trees and we have done that in more than 16 schools. So, and we want to do more. Number two, we had a show called the Youth and Viral Show podcast, um, which educates the people and raise awareness about the whole environment, starting from climate change to renewable energy to poaching, you name it. So we have been doing this on uh, online uh, through our YouTube as well as our Facebook platforms, and we have reached more than hundred thousand viewers which includes youth uh, from Namibia as well as outside Namibia. Capture of suspects has been held for yes. that long. And the winner is Legal Assistance Center. Um, thank you very much to the Legal Assistance Center where I actually was able to do the work with funding from the Hans Seidel Foundation. Um, yeah, I would actually just love everybody to see the comics, appreciate them, share them and read them and obviously understand them. And I'm working on another one. I'm not going to reveal what about. But it's in environmental education, so let's see what comes. Thank you. Congratulations to the Legal Assistance Center in Namibia.